this is what I look like most of the time. So we're going to make lentils. Yes, you heard me. I'm going to make beef lentils. Now, for you vegetarians out there, you can use vegetable bouillon or vegetable broth if you would like, or you could also use chicken. My favorite is beef bouillon. It gives a very rich taste to the lentils because I really don't eat them with anything else. Uh, this is a recipe that I usually make before I go out at night because I work all night as sister entertaining fabulous people. So I need to be healthy, believe it or not. So this is a wonderful thing for you to make and honestly it's great the day after. You'll have a whole pot of this. So what you're going to need is a one pound bag of lentils. You can get yellow or brown and you're going to follow the simple directions for the cooking of the lentils on the bag. It is a false belief that you actually need to soak your lentils. You actually don't. You just need to rinse them and let them drain in a colander. You might want to pick through some of them also. Oh, this is fun, isn't it? I just love cooking actually. And you know, it's very important to give your something healthy. Save the junk food for morning. <laughs> so what you're going to need, like I said, is broth or bouillon. I prefer bouillon because this is a recipe that calls for something a little more, you know, you want seasoning. Um, you're going to need four of them, whatever type you use. You're going to need four bouillon. You're going to need one big size onion. You're going to need seven cloves of garlic, peeled and minced. You're going to need six small potatoes, like little red ones, or, the, or the, you know, like the tiniest little potatoes, not big ones, little ones. And you're going to need eight cups of hot water. This is very important. Hot water. Remember that. Um, you know, I, I tell people all the time, I, I, oh, do you wonder what this is right here? Sister is hooked. Since I've been in Hawaii, I drink Kona coffee all the time. It's absolutely, it's absolutely fabulous, Dolls. You would love it if you don't have it back at home. You know, I really hope that we become closer in the next few weeks. And maybe I'll do a few more recipes, but any of the recipes I do are going to be meant for late night eating and not heavy on your stomach. So all you health nuts and even some vegetarians out there will get some fabulous dish ideas from me. Not to mention gossip, protest, rants and raves. I thank you much and I hope you have a wonderful recipe. Now let's get started. Hope you enjoy it and pay attention because it's very easy to do. And this is Sister Face doing a little experiment and actually trying to make you something a little healthy. As you all know I go out late at night. It's part of my business, part of what I do for a living. And people often wonder, well, what does Sister Face eat? Well, it's simple. I try to eat healthy if I'm going to be out all night, and then I'll eat bad in the morning. <laughs> this is a great recipe, very tasty, very quick. Um, it would even satisfy you vegetarians if you replace the bouillon, the beef or the chicken bouillon that you're going to be using in the recipe for actual just vegetable bouillon. First, what we're going to need is a one pound bag of lentils. Um, don't go fancy. You can go to one of your favorite grocery stores and find a bag of lentils for about two dollars. You're going to need one whole onion chopped in half and then in half again and then slice. You're going to need four, in my case, beef bouillon. I feel that it makes a richer broth. No need to even get the canned broth. It actually has a lot more sodium in it. I prefer the bouillon, your favorite kind. You want to have six small potatoes, and then we're going to take those potatoes, take the trusty little knife here, be careful kiddos, and we're just going to take them and quarter them. And I would say about six of them would be fine. This is just going to give a little body to the meal. We're also going to want to take about seven whole cloves of peeled garlic. 
Not meaning the whole giant clove kids, meaning seven of the little sections. Take that, smash it, and then mince it. You can also use jarred. We're going to need some olive oil, and this is very easy how we're going to get this started. You need about, give, just go with about a two quart pan would be great. Let's get that good and hot. Once that gets hot, we're going to coat the bottom of the pan with some olive oil, about enough to coat. We're going to wait till that comes to heat. I'll tell you, this is a great meal. It's great served by itself over rice. It's great served just by itself. One of the main things right now that I want you to know is it has carrots in it. You can pick your favorite vegetable, but I prefer carrots. If they're really nice. We're going to get the garlic going here. And we're going to get the onions in right away. We don't want our garlic to burn. And we don't want our onions to caramelize or anything too much or too fast. Okay? Get them in there. Start them around. In the meantime, we can be cutting up our potatoes. Now what you're going to see over here is this bouillon that I use, my beef bouillon. You're going to need eight cups of hot water for this recipe for your lentils. Your lentils do not need to be soaked, kiddos. You can actually just rinse them, pick out maybe the darker ones. It smells delicious already. You're also going to want some garlic salt. And once we get this stir fried a little bit here, we can actually go ahead and add the potatoes. And the main, my favorite ingredient, is you're going to need six peeled sweet carrots. Whole carrots or the baby carrots are fine too. They're great actually. You're going to cut them in equal parts. Not huge chunks, little chunks. Once we have our onions going, and a fabulous kind of caramelization. We don't want things to burn. We want it to caramelize. That's what the potatoes, the garlic, the olive oil, and the onions first. Okay? We want to layer things. When you layer things, the flavors come out a lot more. Remember, you want to use olive oil. You don't really want to use butter because it, will, it doesn't have a, a higher burning point and it will actually burn. Here's your carrots. Really wonderful. All cut even. At this point, you can go ahead and add the whole bunch of carrots. It's probably going to be about a bowl about this size of carrots. It's about six. And we want to add our eight cups of water right to this mixture here that we've been doing. It's going to be very flavorful. And now, we're going to bring that to uh, just maybe a little small boil, right before boil, and then we're going to add our lentils. And these are our lentils rinsed right here. They look kind of greenish brown, very nice color. And then we're going to add those, and you're going to let them cook about 20 to 40 minutes depending on the tenderness that you like. And now it's been about, I would say, about a good 30 to 40 minutes. Um, some people might like theirs done a little mushier. Some people might like theirs done like pasta, a little al dente. Have beautiful lentils with lots of garlic, carrots. We have mine. I like I'm not mushy. I like mine right before, where it's not a soup. It's more like uh, kind of like refried beans almost. Beautiful. Smells like wonderful beef stock, carrots, potatoes, lots of garlic and a little bit of salt and a lot of olive oil. I like a little olive oil. For a finishing touch you might want to add a little more. So, I hope this satisfies you. It's a great healthy meal to eat and I hope you've had a good time. Thank you and bon appetit.